got returning back to the hot seat. The main man, Mr. G McGee. Yo, 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 what's All up? time great. What's good with your partner? Man, I can't call it, bro. Just chilling, man. Trying to stay out the way of this pandemic and stay busy. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's pretty much it, you know? Yeah, you know, pandemic kind of died now, but still you got to be safe. Got to be safe. Still got to be safe, bro. People still get sick. You know what I'm saying? Somebody just died the other day from uh, COVID. So I just think like the media ain't talking about it like they once was, but still still serious that, yeah that's one thing i kind of realized when it's kind of like say for instance like the will smith slap everybody heard about it but ain't nobody actually paying attention to the actual thing that's going on that's affecting us politically oh yeah oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you know we as people we like the, the nonsense so the we real like, stuff don't get pushed back when the bull get in you know what i'm saying so, yeah. i mean it's like it was funny but at the same time when it can't at the same time you know, they know what they was doing. I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was fake at first. But <laughs> I was saying a lot of people did too, but it turned out to be real, man. I, I hope to be, wish the best for him. I hope to get out that chain for real. So, so Henry, we'll get to that later. EP, business trip, five songs, am I right? Oh, it's six. Six, six five, yeah. six. Yeah. Now, I listened to I listen to the track and I said, you know what? I see the storyline. I see the storyline from the beginning, from the beginning with um your first with your first one, Apple Music. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, it's more of a real big improvement. Okay. Real That's big improvement. So I wanna I wanna talk about the first track with uh that's not the first track, but with the second track, Boogie, you and Chris Jackson. Like I wanna ask you, what's like the relationship between you and Chris Jackson? I never heard him before. Okay, so Chris Jackson, the person that I meet. Temple. So first, you gotta go back to like how Business Trip even came about. Mm -hmm. So uh, Business Trip really was like me and one of my partners, Powers. Uh, he from Florida too, but he lived here for you know a short period of time. And he you know rock with me with movies and stuff like that. And he was just like, man, you need to try to branch off a little bit to see what can you do like in another market, in another city or whatnot. So he was like, man, come to Florida with me. And I was like, you know, I was down for it, but. You know, with me teaching school and you know, it was just kind of hard to just up and just pack up and just leave like that. So, you know, the summers be free. So I like, man, what's up? You got some time during the summer? He was like, man, I'm finna go home for a week. Like, what can you do? So I like, man, I can't stay for a whole week, but I can, you know, I can push a couple of days now. So we went down there. But prior to that, you know, Chris Jason, one of his partners from there, he from town. So, uh, link like that. I think he heard, uh, Rubicon flow, that's the song I got on uh, on YouTube, the video. He heard that and he you know, he really like started liking my music, so he was just like, man, you need to come down and you know, rock with me, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you get some free time, so we did that. Um, so we just went down there and we got to it. You know, so he had a, he got his own, you know, um, he had like different shows that I was able to be a part of while I was down there, so. And just being in the studio there, he was just like, man, let me hop on the track, which he ended up getting two songs out of me. So. Mm -hmm. Man, them two songs right there, he, that boy got some talent. Chris oh, Jackson. yeah, more different. He been doing it for a while, yeah. like, but, you know, he kind of bagged off because of the business side. He tried to do other things. And he got his own magazine down there. He helped with a club down there, too, so. But he still get bees on the mic, and now he recently like started back getting into. He about to drop an EP soon too. But it might just be an album. But either way, he about to drop some music. So I make sure I plug you in whenever he drop it. I let you know. Oh, for yeah. sure, for sure. Because when listening to Chris Jackson, I'm like, you know, when I was listening to both of y'all, tip for tat, and I was like, it's kind of like in harmony. Yeah. Like when y'all when y'all come to, when y'all come together on your first on your verse, and he came on his other verse, it was kind of like, yo, this kind of for some reason, this go this click together perfectly, yeah. and that what that what I feel about that 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 track right there. That track, one of my favorite tracks right there. Okay, that sure. that and the one with uh, him and another guy named Hyphen. Hyphen. Now yeah. I want I want to get to him too because I might well just say, man, y'all might well just start a trio or something. <laughs> start a trio. Yeah, uh, Hyphen, another person I met down there. He from New York, but he moved to Temple, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I think Chris Jason might have called him up, or uh, my partner Powers might have called him, like, bro, you need to come to the studio, man. We working out here, like, what's up? 
And he came, he heard me working on some tricks, and he was just like, man, I got some for me, I'll hop on. So, um, matter of fact, uh, Gumbo was supposed to just be me and him. And then when Chris Jason heard it too, he was like, man, I gotta get on here too. So, we just made room for him too. So, yeah. So, yeah, that, that, that Gumbo track and Boogie, I'm gonna just say, just say like, I, all I can say is start a trio, start something, an EP, album, Miss Table, yeah. something. We gotta hear, we gotta hear more from y'all three. I, I would like to see, in my opinion, I like to see like a, a, a joint EP, it's like a story in between y'all and how y'all started with something like that. You know. You never know. We might, we might have some things in the making. We might need to, need to visit it. I'm sure they'll. Hopefully, I send it to them. They'll, they'll keep it out. We can chop it up and get it done. Okay, now another thing I want to talk about motions and shoot my shot. First of all, I was shoot my shot. Um, the chorus, you know, who got the chorus from? Oh, that beat, it was the chorus was already on. Oh, no. So, uh, and I really didn't even know people made beats like that with choruses already on. They sent them out, but like I said, Powell was he, he sent beats and he just like, hey, I got this beat for you. I want this to be different from outside of what you normally would put out. And you know, he pushed me to it, and I was just like, man, I can, I can do whatever. So he sent the beat to so the right. I mean, plus it's less, it's a little bit less work on your end anyway, because you know, you gotta write the chords already there. Yeah. It's a little bit, and like you said, you got to, like you said, it's a way more different from what other beats are. Like it's just straight instrumental. You never heard one with just the chords on there. Yeah. And I, like since then, like I've heard artists say they don't like using those because it kind of like tear away from their you know, creative freedom or whatnot, but it really don't matter to me. Like I caught a vibe from it. As long as I can hear it and, and can relate to it, I'm with it. So it, it fit perfect. Like it didn't take me long to write it out. So. Okay now no, okay one song I want to talk about motions. Motions that that's like a intro to a movie. When I first listened to it, I could just see I could just imagine myself like in the movies just seeing Bright lights going down California Highway, <laughs> uh, uh, convertible tire, 64 and Paula going down the highway, just chilling, just driving, moving to a moving, big guy moving to the city with big dreams, something like that. Yeah. And that would that would have that would have vibe I got from motion. It, it, quite frankly, how how do you feel about that song in particular? Oh, how that came about? So motion was like the first song that I, out of those songs, that was the first song that I did. And uh, when I first heard the beat, it was just, that was the first thing I thought about. One thing I hear a lot of people talk about down here is like motion. You know what I'm saying? Like even at the school that I work at, shout out to Amanda Hills High School. They always talking about keep, folks ain't having no motion. Like, you ain't having no motion, you ain't got no motion. You know what I'm saying? Really motion just really mean like, you ain't, you ain't making no moves, you ain't being productive, you ain't, you know, other little meanings to it as well. But like, this how I take it. You know what I'm saying? So when I first heard the beat, that's what I first thought about, like having motion. You know what I'm saying? Just doing the beat, trying to be better than I was yesterday. Just making sure I'm just steady elevated. That was uh, I like I liked it. Honestly, I ain't never heard of motion. Only motion I heard of valley and motion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you come to come to ears and for real, they I man, that's all they talk about. Like, most having motion. Most having motion. And it was so funny mm -hmm. because like before I even heard any child say that, like, I just was like motion. I'd have heard people from here, it would have been a bun in the motion gang. And, uh, you know, I just hear, you know, motion just like something real, like smooth. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you ain't having no motion, you ain't moving. So, you know, you want to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to stay in the same spot all the time. You want to just keep elevating up. And as long as you're doing that, you're going to be straight in life. Oh yeah, mo oh yeah, that that's a good definition of mo. Should be in like the Webster dictionary. <laughs> that sounds really good. So now another thing, speaking of Amanda Evans School, I I noticed that you do teach. Like you know what stuff what subject do you teach? Uh, I teach college and career readiness. College and career readiness. So what uh what brought you into teaching that subject? Uh I kinda just got through it too, to be <laughs> honest, because I was like I went to school for like a pretty engineer. So uh, when I first started teaching, which I thought I'd never be doing, um, I taught like engineering and robotics for a year. Then when I moved back to the crib, I was teaching information technology for two years. Then the last two years I taught STEAM. So this year, um, 
I just got asked to, you know, try these class out for me, see what you think of it. And I like it. Like, I love the class because I'm actually able to, like, talk to them and relate life situations with them and get them prepared for what's the next level outside of high school. Which, are you going to go to college or are you going to go to the Air Force, the Army? Are you going to straight to the workforce? Are you going to get a trade? What you going to do? CDLs? Like, what is that you going to do after high school? That's something, that's something there that, in our opinion, like we both can relate. Not many people during our time, like the older ones, like in school, really didn't teach us this. Yeah. Some some of us had to, uh, like, go straight to college and say, hey, I probably want to do this when really we supposed to have been deciding it in high school. Sure. Right back to it. All right, another thing, um, it's a couple of, uh, like, I remember you saying way back, you saying, like, you open to anybody to doing music with, that feel free, like, hit you or whatever. Yeah, yeah. One good candidate I have, I know I, sto I told you about it before, Zach. Mr. Yeah. Zach, ATS, Zach or something, though. Now, I wanted to get, like, an input on what would be one, what would be, like, a perfect song would you want to kind of do with him? Like, what's... What kind of flow would you think would work uh, with? Him? I really don't even know. I can't even answer it. Like I'd have heard a few songs of his, and I like it flow. Like so I'm really willing to work with anybody as long as you know they ready to put the work in. Uh, but of you know what I'm saying? Like you know, I don't. It's certain things that I don't rap about, even though I I do. Uh -huh. Can I can talk about it and still be telling the truth? I just decide, you know. Um, be on the rail like that. There's a gift and a curse, you know what I'm saying? But I'd rather just take it, you know, take it as easy and just keep moving. All right, man. Yeah, but yeah, I rock with him though. Like, shout out to him. Like, I know him, you know what I'm saying? We cool. Friends on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, all right, man. That's all the time we have in the high seat. G McGee, man, I appreciate you coming, man. All right, and man, I'll be listening more, to that, listening more music from and I hope to, see, hope to hear more from you, Chris Jackson, and Hyphen, and many more people. Yeah, hey, y'all just send it up, man. Y'all hit me up. I ain't hard to, you know, get in contact with so whoever. Just let me know. We can get to it. All right, bro. Stay true and stay human. We out of here. For sure,